Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Shale, which is what my username is. And today is my first video. Um, and I thought the best thing to do was to do a declutter, have a fresh start, and then start my channel with um, a newly curated collection. Um, at the moment I'm just doing the eyeshadow palettes because this is probably the biggest part of the declutter for me because eyeshadow palettes are my favourite um, area of makeup in a collector of makeup since about probably 2005 so it's been a long time that I've been collecting makeup I haven't really got rid of anything um, so I really need to do this this is long overdue and I thought I would share it with you okay so I'll start with some of the loose ones now this one is super old um, hopefully you can see it well enough um, it's the Pixie by Petra winter makeup eyes um, as you can see it's well loved it's really quite old now so I think this needs to go so this is a Hello Kitty one um, and it's with uh, Liberty of London I think so I think it's a bit of a collaboration and it was available at Boots yeah so shadow compact uh, with eight shades so yeah this is the this is the eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, this is quite old as well. But it just, it's just not great. So I think I'm gonna have to declutter this because I just don't think it's gonna be safe for eye use anymore. I have some really old Too Faced stuff. Okay, so this came out at the same time as the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It was brand new at this point when I got this palette because it sort of released at the same time. And then this is the eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. I use this quite a lot. Um, this was one of my first high-end um, palettes. I think I probably got it around 2009, 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Um, really pretty, but this is so old now. But then it's like a bit of... Um, makeup history oh you know I think I'm gonna be finding it difficult to get rid of some stuff because I am a collector um, I like to sort of keep things for memorabilia rather than for use I'll put that on the maybe pile from a memorabilia stash and then we have this oh my gosh this was my first high-end palette I ever bought I saw, um, there used to be a YouTuber called Extina, I think, um, and I don't think she's on YouTube anymore, um, and she used it and so I bought it because I love the look she came up with it. Um, yeah, they came with cards, oh my gosh. Okay, so again, this is, so they do all the tins and fancy packaging now, whereas this, this was the start packaging, it's really chunky cardboard. I think this is going to go in the memorabilia stash because this is just, this was my makeup history. This is my first high-end palette and I have a lot of sentimental value with this. Look, they even, they even came with little brushes in a drawer. Um, this was a palette brought out with, do you remember that they had um, like this little pen and it was meant to transform uh, eyeshadow into liner. Well, this um, was the palette they released with the liner. So it seems like Too Faced, whenever they released anything new, they bring an eyeshadow palette out with it and I sort of like put them together. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I remember this. Oh, okay. You can see that I really like this color. <laughs> And then this colour, and then that was about it. Oh no, I used this one as well. I just, oh no, I think I used, yes, I definitely used this as a shadow. I didn't really like the liner, I didn't think it worked that well, so. But this has so much history to it, I don't know whether to put that in the memorabilia section as well. Yeah, I might do. Here's the, <laughs> here's the other Too Faced one. Now they still do this uh, palette, but this is like the first one they brought out again show my age and they've got the cards oh oh i've just dropped them everywhere typical this was absolutely my favorite palette for the longest time i got it soon after i got the um 
a smoky eye palette and I got the Urban Decay one, the Urban Decay Naked and this. Um, I was really still learning how to do makeup when I had this so for me it goes back a long time. This is actually nearly hitting pan this shade here, I don't think you can really see it on the camera, it's really dipped. Um, it's uh, Silk Teddy and that is one of my favourites, still now one of my favourite shadows. Um, this is obviously way beyond being eye safe but I really really love this palette. I might actually get the new one. Um, it was one of the only palettes of Too Faced that actually properly worked on me. Oh, and this one, you only get one brush. Um, but I really liked it. I didn't find the mattes work that well on me, but this shimmer was just beautiful. This is definitely going in my memorabilia palette um, collection. I have this. I might just get rid of this. I might just bin it. Um, I, like, I didn't like the glosses. I tried them, didn't like them. Um, and then it turns into this and I thought, oh wow, these shades are gorgeous. Um, they were not very good on the eyes. They sort of blended out into nothing, which is a shame. I remember getting this from Argos, which is like a catalogue shop in the UK. It comes with a little lip brush, which was NAF, and a sponge applicator, which, don't get me started. Um, this is really old now. I'm just going to get rid of this one. I have an accessorised palette. Um, I don't even know how or when I got this. It's just very sort of powdery, dust, a bit dusty. Um, just, you know, almost a novelty rather than proper makeup I would use. I really liked this pink though. This one's sort of really been used a lot. But it's just not eye safe anymore. I need to get rid. This is years old. I have a whole bunch of sleek palettes. Um, I used to be mad on sleek because I used to use sleek before I used the high-end ones. So this is what I used before I started getting into Too Faced and Urban Decay. This is the original palette. Now this will be old. This will be the original waffle. Yep, the original waffle print. Oh, they're all shimmers. I did find it quite hard to use, so I just used one shade over the whole lid. And then that was me. I tended to use these two here. Yeah, it's just an eye safe. I'm going to have to get that rid of that. Okay. So this is the oh so special sleep palette. This was one of the limited edition ones. This is a pretty colour. Oh, this is quite a powdery palette. Okay, I'll, I'll see why you haven't really used this as much. Really pretty colours. But just so, oh my gosh, look at that powder. Yeah, I haven't even used the darker colours in this palette. I've probably had these for about <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's time they went. Um, this was the Storm palette. I think they still have this one, but obviously just not in the waffle print. I liked this for smoky eyes, but then as soon as I got my Too Faced, I never used this again. They're pigmented and um, really nice but quite powdery and I found they did sort of like muddy a bit um, but no I mean I do like sleek products this is the chaos palette and oh yeah I've used quite a lot of these okay um, I don't really think I would have used this that much but I have yeah so this is what this one looks like and this is the bad girl palette oh I think this is the smoky eye palette yeah Oh, I, you could tell what look I was going for <laughs> back in the day. And this is the final one. This is a sunset palette. This is beautiful warm tones, I believe. Yeah. So this is the original naked palette I bought. Now, oh my gosh, this is probably at least nine, ten years old. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't even, uh, yeah. It's To say it's way past the... Um, date that it should have been chucked out is an understatement um, as you can I don't know I was gonna say as you can see but I'm not sure if the camera's actually picking up but this shade is like nearly hitting pan as is sin as is dark horse and hustle and book is quite a big dent in it as well I'm not sure if that's really showing up though but yeah oh my gosh so many memories 
um, I might put this in my memorabilia section because it's just, especially with them getting rid of it now, they're not bringing it back. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this for memorabilia. Another old um, Urban Decay palette. This is, I can't remember the name of it. It doesn't even say on it, but it's sort of like the animal friendly, um, anti um, testing on animals, cruelty free palette. Again, this is going to be probably between seven and nine years old. Um, it's just so cute. But the thing I started finding with Urban Decay palettes is all the same shades from their range were in the palettes. So, like half baked, yeah, half baked, twice baked, smog, herb, gunmetal, they were all in other palettes. There was a little um, line of pencil, 24 7 pencil in there. I mean, it's a pretty palette, don't get me wrong, the packaging's gorgeous, but I was so disappointed. I think this was really the only original shade, and then I think that ended up being in another palette. So, I really do like it in terms of the packaging and again I remember my dad taking me um to get it um he took me to Chester which is the nearest city to get it um and unfortunately my dad passed away um it's coming on three years now so when I find anything that reminds me of him and things he did for me I like to keep so I think I'll keep this in my memorabilia because this is one that he sort of enabled my makeup collection really. I say enabled, he just supported me to get things. So yeah, this reminds me of him, so I'll definitely keep it. When I say I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna use it, it's not eye safe. I mean, I'm gonna put it in my memorabilia, just so I best clear that up. Look at the state of it. The thing is with this packaging is it's like rubberized and sticky, so like, I'm not the cleanest, like with my, I mean, I've got like all eyeshadow on me now, so, Oh, whenever I use this, it's just, I mean, the colours are beautiful. I don't know what it was. I really bought it for this blue shade, but then, I don't know. It just, just a little patchy. The colours sort of went a bit muddy on me. I don't know whether it was just this formula or, um, I don't know, or whether my like sort of skin changed so the formula doesn't work as well on my skin I'm not sure but it this just didn't work that well for me and so I never really wanted to pick it up and use it I think I'm just gonna get rid of this wow I've got some really <laughs> really retro Urban Decay ones now so these ones are definitely going in memorabilia these are collectors um, pieces so this is Alice in Wonderland Urban Decay look at that so cute and then it opens up to this um, I love this palette I used it a lot particularly um, the shade here um, Absalom I believe it's called um, but again well, a lot of the shades like this is gunmetal just with a different name um, there's Midnight Cowboy as well I think it's this one with a different name you know what I mean it's they repeated the shades so much. Yeah, I'm keeping this though because it's just such a lovely collector's piece. This one, oh my gosh, it still lights up. Um, this is the Urban Decay Loves New York City collector's um, palette. Look at that. I love these palettes, honestly. And then, do you see what I mean about repeated shades? I mean, this is virtually the same as the other one. It's just, there's so many similar shades to the other palettes I've just shown you. Like, all the colour schemes are very similar. I did like this palette though. I use these, this green a lot, this purple a lot. Um, I really liked this colour too and this colour. But this colour, the glitter fallout was real, honestly. It was so bad. This one as well, the glitter fallout. Oh my god, the glitter went all over my face. I never used it again. You can actually see some of the glitter fallout um, from this shade in these um, colours here. I just got a little bit sick of uh, repeat shades in multiple um, palettes and they just sort of rename them. Sometimes they didn't even rename them. Um, yeah, I do like this. It's a, it's a collector's piece and a memorabilia piece. 
it's really pretty to look at. Um, so I'm going to keep it for memorabilia. Ow! Okay, I'm just throwing palettes at myself. Um, these are my Morphe palettes. This is the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. Um, I haven't really used it that much. Um, and look how dirty it is, like, honestly. I do actually really like this palette. Um, this shimmer shade was actually one that was used on me on my wedding day. So I'll always keep this palette just for that. But at the moment, this is still good to use. So I'll keep it in my collection for that. This is, okay, the 35W palette. Again, this was used on my wedding day. I think if it wasn't used for my wedding day, I probably would declutter this. But because it's got sentimental value, I think I'm going to keep this. And the same is going to go for... Um, this one, the 35P palette, because this was also used on my wedding day. Um, so, yeah. It's a, it re this is actually a really pretty palette. I probably would keep this one, actually, <laughs> looking at it. I love this, this lilac shade. Ooh, okay. I need to pull this out more often. I'm really liking these shades, and I think it just uh, gets forgotten. Now, this is a palette that is <laughs> well-loved. Um, it's an absolute stake because it's the cardboard one. It's the one when she first brought it out. Um, yeah, I use this so much. I actually took this um, as my only makeup palette on uh, my honeymoon. Um, I really enjoy this palette. I definitely keep it. I have the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. It's actually I have both of them. Also. Okay, here we go. So this is an original, oh it's just, so, oh gosh, just look at it, so beautiful, absolutely love this palette, it works so well as well, and then there's this one, oh they're just, they're both so beautiful and the colours, I mean, Bait Shadows in the past I've had real trouble with and actually the next palette I'll show you is uh, Bait Shadows I've had which are just crap, um, and so I thought these weren't going to be that good. But, you know, if you said they were okay, so I got them, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did. They're amazing. The mattes are amazing. The shimmers, even though they're baked, are incredible. I still don't really like this middle thing being such a big sort of like highlighter shade. But, I mean, it's pretty, but they always tend to be a bit um, uh, crumbly. The middle ones... Um, it would have been nice if it was just a general base shade or something that you could use all the time. So, you know, it makes sense that that was a bigger one. Um, but no, they're really nice palettes. Definitely keeping those. Now, the baked one I was telling you about that's poo is this front cover um, Rainbow Eyes Reborn. Now, this is one I will always keep. And the reason I will always keep it is because my dad my dad got it me. Well, my mum and my dad. But... Um, as I said, anything my dad got me, I tend to keep. So these are the Baked Shadows. Um, it's quite old now as well. Uh, so I don't think it's it would perform optimally anyway. And then it had like a shadow liner and then little brushes here, which I thought was really cute. But um, the shadows just didn't really perform. I mean, you've got to really push down to get anything. And when you put it on the eye, it just sort of blended out into nothing. Um, as a beginner, it was really hard to use. I mean, the colours are so beautiful, though. That's why I wanted it, and they got it me. And it was just a shame it was a bit of a dud. This is the Ultimate Artistry um, Shadow Palette uh, BH Studio Pro. Now, when this arrived, this shade was in millions of pieces. Um... Oh no, it wasn't this shade, it was this shade. It just looks like this shade because this shade is all in that, it's in that, it's in that and that. So a lot of my shadows are tainted in this palette because this broke. And it also dyed a lot of my clothing because it fell on me and that pigment is real. This is actually a really beautiful palette and it works really well. I really like it. I'm definitely going to keep this. I need to use it more because the shades are great. The quality is fantastic. The blend on them is awesome. So yeah, I definitely need to use this more. I have nothing bad to say about it apart from one of the shades broke and sort of went everywhere. These are the Harry Potter 
um, eyeshadow palettes um, from Boots. This is Ravenclaw. As you can see, the shades look a bit mucked up and that's because they are horrendous to use. They are awful shadows. Um, they were £12 each, so it's not even like they were super cheap. I mean, it was more expensive than Colourpop. Um, what was it? Yeah, it, 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 it would work out more expensive than Colourpop. Um, and then Slytherin. I really like the Slytherin colours, but I mean, they're all shimmer. And some of the shimmers, oh my god, like this one here, this one that's crumbled everywhere. Good luck getting that to show up. Awful. Um, I'm just going to get rid of them because uh, I did an Instagram post uh, swatching them. And you can pretty much see how some of the shades are okay, other shades are not. And half of them are duplicated, so not each palette has its own original colours. Half of them are in all the other palettes, so they're just pointless. When I say get rid, I do mean, um, I'm sort of aware people might think, I mean, just chuck them out, but I will offer them to other people. It's just because if not work for me, it doesn't mean they won't work for someone else and it'd be a waste to chuck them and they're still eye safe. So that's what I mean by chuck it out, but I don't want to have to explain that every time. So yeah, that's what I mean by that. Now this is the Blush Neutrals 26 Colour Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. I got this free. When I placed an order with BH Cosmetics, um, it's pretty, but I have these colours like a million times over, so I'm gonna. It, it's just, I'm just not gonna use it. Interestingly, I've got some like really old Mac ones now. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, okay, wow. So this is a Heatherette palette. Um, looks like that. I find it really cute. I don't know whether to put it in my thingy or not, my um, memorabilia or not. I'll put that in the maybe pile with um, the other two um, two paste ones. This is the Royal Tour Eye Trio. Um, it was a Dame Edna collection with Mac. I love this. I love purples. Um, I just. This isn't eye safe anymore anyway, but the shades weren't even that great. I mean, look at that purple, really. Um, it's hard just to do a look with just them. This is the MAC Wonder Woman um, palette. This was in Valiant, so this is the green based one. Uh, really beautiful colours. Again, I, I don't know what it is about these collections, but I just don't find the eyeshadows that good. Like it was really patchy and dry and um, I just found it quite patchy dry and uh, didn't find it went on the eye that easy so it's just whether I keep this as memorabilia I'll put that in the maybe pile Archie's Girls collection um, this is in Caramel Sunday a nice neutral eye palette look at that it's a, it's a bit poo isn't it really it's just really lacklustre the whole, the whole palette was just really lacklustre I found it really hard to use Particularly as I was quite um, a newbie at makeup at that point. I'm sure I want to keep that as memorabilia. I'll put it on the movie pile anyway. I just find it hard to let go of these specific uh, collection ones. This one I really liked. Um, the Matt Hello Kitty. I loved that collection. Um, Two Dolly uh, makeup palette. It's the very bright, stark, odd one. Again, I mean, the colours are okay in this one. Um, I found this one hard to use. This doesn't, doesn't really show up at all. Um, and this was very dry. But it did show up, but it's just very dry and dusty. I think I'll keep this as memorabilia because I really did love this collection. Now, this is a palette I used a lot. I'm going to be careful because um, I know exactly what's inside it. Um, it's the Too Faced Pixie Perfect palette. Uh, and yeah it broke <laughs> so um, I'm just going to get rid of this I really 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 love this quad it was beautiful it worked really well it was made to the most amazing and uh, naturalised but you can't get this anymore it's broken it's leaving mess all over the place I'm just going to bin it this is the Too Faced um uh, what is this? 
Oh, it's that, okay. It's that ooh and ah thing. Um, didn't really use it, got it for free. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, that's stunning. But I actually have the, is it 20 year collection thing? The palette, um, the then and now palette by Too Faced and this colour is in it and it's eye safe because it's newer. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've got two more old Urban Decay. I think this is the last of the old Urban Decay. Oh my God, it's got dust on it. How gross is that? Um, this is the, I think it's the Deluxe palette. It doesn't say on it, but I think it's the Deluxe and it's got this beautiful like um, metal on it here. It's a really cute design. Absolutely. This was my favourite palette for the longest time. I got this in 2010, so it is old. Um, it's just oh, it's just such a beautiful palette and look at the colours, so bright. I just absolutely loved this um, palette. I'm going to keep it as memorabilia. I can't use it now because it's not eye safe, but I'm going to use it as memorabilia. Uh, keep it as memorabilia, not use it. This is the black palette. This was utter poo, got to be honest. Um, every, I was, obviously we've worked out by now, I was into my smoky eyes. Um, I thought, oh, this will be great because it'll be great to, um, you know, have smoky eye with a specific colour. So it's sort of like dark, but it's got sort of like an underlying colour to it. And these just showed up on my eyes as all being the same colour. <laughs> so I wanted sort of like a blue smoky eye. Um, it just showed up as black. It didn't really show up as anything other than um, dark. They just showed up as really muddy dark. Um, so I'm probably just going to get rid of this to be honest. Um, this is the Tarte Be Your Own Tartist and it's a sort of purple marble colour. Um, as you can tell, well loved. I mean the shades are beautiful but I don't really use it. That's a problem. I might offer this. I mean I've sanitised it recently as well. Can you see it's all like mucky. And that's actually where I've sanitised it and it's just left a pattern everywhere. I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to put this on the unsure pile, you know. I just don't know. I don't really use it, but then at the same time, it's got so much wear left in it, and it's in a state where I wouldn't really want to give it to anyone else. Uh, this is a similar palette. Um, be your own tartist, or tartiest, or whatever it is. Um, this is more neutral. Again, I've... Um, I mean, it's really handy for travel, because it's like... Got the blush on as well. Oh, that's a pretty blush as well. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna put that on the baby pile as well. I just don't know what to do with that right now. Okay, we've got a couple of newer Too Faced ones. Um, this is the Life's a Festival palette, I think. Just says Ethereal Eyeshadow Palette and Highlighter Palette on this. Um, but it's definitely Life's a Festival, I'm sure. Oh yeah, Duh, it says it right on the front. Oh my god, issues. I mean, very pretty palette. The shades are gorgeous. I'm not sure how long I will keep this because I've tried to use it a few times and it's just nothing. I thought there'd be more duochromes in the wear. I mean, the shades are pretty, but I'm just not using it that often. I'll I'll keep it on this time, on this occasion, but I may well um, declutter it in a not-so-distant future. Okay, so we have the Then and Now palette. I've still got it in the box because this is definitely one that's going to go in my memorabilia when it's not eye safe anymore. Um, look at the size of this palette. Like, when I compare it to... Oh my gosh, I thought the Naked palette was quite big. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, so it's a big palette. We're establishing that. Um, if you can see, I'm not sure. If I put bring it really close up, you can see, like, where... It's like it doesn't this gaps it doesn't meet the actual hole and here this is skew and it's like if this is a celebration palette it wasn't exactly cheap i mean i bought it in the sale but still it wasn't cheap like why have we got all these just skew with and why is this just card you know i mean in terms of the shadows i like them i actually really like the quality i like the way they work this one is a beautiful shade however it's very crumbly and you will have glitter down your face all day and the 
longer you have it on, the more glitter falls down throughout the day. So it's a bit of a nightmare in terms of that. But I do really like the the shades. And this is my U and R. Um, which is exactly the same as the one I've just chucked out. Um, it does smell. It smells like um, vanilla frosting. Uh, not overly scented, but you know it's okay. Um, but it's not like sort of like that massive fragrance of birthday cake like they said it would be. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I I think it's nice memorabilia, even when I can't use it anymore. But I actually quite like using it. I just some of the shades are so similar. I just need to. I just need to sort of like put it in a place where I use it a bit more. So we have the Jupiter's Place Mas Masquerade Mini. God, I can't get my words out today. This is the Masquerade Mini. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, definitely keeping. What I will say is I wish there was just like a lighter base shade in here because all the browns are really dark and actually very similar. Like this shade and this shade are very similar. And this shade and this shade are very similar. So... Um, I wish you sort of had a lighter shade in there as well, like a brow bone sort of colour. Because the only lighter shades they have are the shimmers. So, I mean, very pretty still, but yeah, I wish it was just sort of had lighter shades in this. But yeah, definitely really like this. The pigmentation's fantastic. Um, so I'll keep that. So have the Zulu by Juvia's. Oh, this lip's gone. Um, I mean, the palettes are just so beautiful. I mean, look at the artwork. I do wish it had a mirror though. It's bit of a pain I haven't really used this one much I've used this shade this shade and this shade um, oh no I have used this shade as well um, probably these two together actually um, the pigmentation is beautiful it's a really nice palette the pans are huge I'm never gonna run out of this thing um, I've used this one as well I've used this palette more than I thought I had um, yeah no I, I, do, I really like it I find it quite hard to make looks with it um, just on its own but um, it's a really beautiful palette and I'll keep it. Okay, this is a new one. This is a drugstore one. It's a Maybelline Total Temptation. It doesn't say on it like what <laughs> what shade one this is. But um, if I open it up, you get two quads and then two highlighters. This is poo. I mean, no, strike that. It's sheer. It's a very sheer colour. Um, it's not all that pigmented, it goes on very light um, and I find it sort of blends into nothing if you keep blending it so you almost have to pack it on rather than blend um, so yeah and actually this shade and this shade here are really highly glittery and this caused a huge amount of irritation to my eye because of the glitter so that's something to be aware of if you're sensitive skin like me um, it's quite high glitter content in those two shades there so be careful with that i'll keep it for now because i haven't really used this quad that much um and i need to sort of see how it works but i reckon this will be decluttered in another uh, not so distant future video i have a huge amount of the bad habit palettes okay so this is the light speed palette this is the kat von d and divine palette uh dupe really nice but this broke and I just, I mean, I really like this white. This is one I go to for a white, um, but um, I, it, the colour selection is a bit difficult to know what to do with it, really. But I do like it and I do think I'll keep it. Royals palette. Oh, I mean, it's, I have the actual um, Modern Renaissance palette, which this is duping. This doesn't come anywhere close like anywhere it it's just so powdery and hard to blend and it's just not that pigmented really i think i'll keep it just for the sake of comparisons but then again this is one i'm going to declutter in the not so distant future the athena palette which is the um huda beauty desert dusk it is a desert dusk isn't it yeah, that's where it's gone. This is the Desert Dusk um, dupe. I really like this. I really like the shades. I like the blendability and the pigmentation. They're not the best shadows, but they're certainly not bad. And I do really like this. I need to use this more. Um, and this one is the Rose Gold dupe. 
and again this is a really nice palette um really blendable um pigmented well you can build up the pigment um it does sort of brush away a bit when you blend so you have to sort of pack it on a bit more so it takes a bit of work but to be honest i just couldn't at the time i just couldn't afford the huda beauty ones so i got these and you know i'm not disappointed they are really nice they're beautiful palettes so i'm definitely keeping them artistry palette uh, i wasn't really um buying uh, anastasia beverly hills at the time this came out so i missed it it's obviously a due for the mario palette uh, which as i said i missed so i really like this palette i mean the quality is fantastic it's one of the best um bad habit palettes uh yeah i really enjoy it um so yeah i'll be um I'll be keeping on to this, that's for sure. I'll, I need to use it more, but then again, I think I'll say that with every single palette I pull out. Um, this is the Arabesque. This is the um, Soft Glam Dupe. This shade broke, which is really annoying. Um, the pigmentation on this one isn't actually that good. Um, it's certainly not Anastasia Beverly Hills quality. Um, this is probably like um, the Royals palette where... I'm going to consider getting rid of it. This is the Aura palette, so this is a dupe for the Prism palette, which I actually have. Um, I really like this. I think it's very comparable in terms of the blendability and the quality to the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, I'd say this one has a bit more fallout and is a bit more chunky and... Um, oh, what's the word? A little bit more dusty in terms of the mattes. Um, the shimmers are beautiful, but a bit more crumbly than the actual palette. Um, but really nice and I definitely keep this as a backup and um, it's good for comparisons as well. This is a retro love. Um, this is the dupe for the subculture which I didn't even bother getting. This one has fallen apart a couple of times now. These two shades just keep crumbling. Um, but I don't have the subculture because I didn't want to pay that much money on a palette that so many people complained about. Um, yeah, I think I'll... I'll keep it because I do like the colour selection though and at least then I've not paid a huge amount of money on something that doesn't work so although this isn't the most perfect eyeshadow palette ever and it's good to keep. Now these are the um, Huda Beauty dupes so we have this one which is the After Hours which is the Mauve Obsessions dupe, um, the Electric Palette dupe which is the Aftershock palette in a Bad Habit. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I've used it as well and it works really well. Um, this is the... I'm quite sure if it's the Warm palette. I can't remember. Uh, or if it's sort of... I can't remember the names of the actual ones it's um, based on. I think it's the Warm palette. Um, and then this is the Smoky palette. This is the only one I haven't used yet. And I'm really looking forward to using it because it's beautiful. It's a mess even though I haven't used it. So that's a bit concerning, isn't it? Um, but the ones I have used, these ones are amazing. The quality is fantastic for the price. I think I got them as a bundle and yeah, I'm just been really impressed so far. I'm yeah, certainly happy with them. We'll be keeping them. And then we have the, uh, Natasha Denona dupes from Bad Habit. And this is the Supernova, which is a dupe for the Lila palette or the Leela palette. I haven't really used that this much. I need to get around to using it more. And then I've got this one again, two shades broke, um, but it's a really pretty palette and I haven't actually used this one yet. Yeah, I really like these and I certainly can't afford the hundreds of pounds it costs to get the Natasha Denona ones. So yeah, these are really good. Now I've got the Dream State palette. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty dupe. I can't remember what uh, the name was of the palette it duped. They're okay. Um, definitely toppers just like the actual palette but um, you know it's, it's alright it's just not what I thought it would be like that's really crumbly but um, yeah I definitely keep it I just need to use it more so thanks to have a face candy palette it's the wild palette again I had shades break this is meant to be the dupe for Kat Von D um, these shades certainly aren't as pigmented as Kat Von D um, but they blend really nicely and you can build the colour. So, yeah, it's a nice palette. I definitely prefer the formula to Bad Habit than I do the Face Candy, though. I also have the Amazonia 
palette colors are nice I have used this one and it just turns out white it doesn't turn out like the little um, baby blue that it's supposed to be um, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but I need to use it to be able to sort of see um, so I'll give that another shot and this is the Sahara palette um, this one's hitting pan and I've used it twice they are super dusty super fallout central um, I did a look using this one and I had to put it on about seven times because every time you put it on and blend it, it would sort of like drift away into nothing. So to get the pigmentation I wanted, I had to apply it seven times. Um, no word for lie, no joke. That is actually how it happened. When I um, swatch that, can you see? It's like, I'm not sure if it's picking up, but it's super dusty. Um, and when you blend, it just sort of blends into nothing. So this is nice, the shades are beautiful, but you have to really build them up because they blend into nothing and they're really quite powdery. So this is the Eau Colon Natural Palette. It's obviously a dupe for the Kat Von D Metal Matte. Um, it's beautiful. Again, this shade, like this palette broke because this one, this one and this one smashed. But the colours are really nice. Again, this is one where you have to really build up the pigment because um, it's sort of blends away but it's a really beautiful palette um, and I need to give it more of a chance the colours are so beautiful um, yeah I'm going to try it some more and see I have quite a lot of Tarte palettes the Pineapple of My Eye palette which was um, the Christmas collection because nothing says Christmas like a pineapple um, and here it is it's so I mean it is beautiful but gosh it shows up the mark something terrible um, it has the face products on one side and the um, eyeshadows on the other side. The eyeshadows are amazing, the face products, now I've only reused the blushes and they're amazing. Um, I absolutely love this palette, it's so versatile, so pretty and the, the blends and the pigmentation is just beautiful, they're buttery soft. absolutely love this palette, it's one of my favourites of all time. I've got the Tartlet palette. It's not my favourite of the Tarte palettes, um, but it's good for work because uh, I only wear matte shades for work. So it's really good to have, just to have a matte palette. Um, I really like this. The pigmentation's pretty good. Uh, I don't find the pink shows up pink though. I, show, I think it shows up more white. Um, but it is a nice palette. It's just not my favourite of the Tarte palettes. I have Tarte Toasted. This is beautiful. This is a really warm toned, really... The shades um, have a lot of fallout, however, the colour and the blend and the intensity is just amazing. It's one of my favourite palettes. I think all of my Tarte ones are pretty, uh, pretty high in my favourites because I just love their formula. They work really well on me. Um, yeah, I do enjoy these palettes. Tarte in Bloom. This I am currently doing a project pan on um, because I use it so much for work. I thought, well, it's it's realistic that I would pan this or at least 50% of it minimum um the colors and the blend is just it's just a really nice palette to work with and I love my eye looks from it so love this as well the Tartist Pro Remix palette um with this sort of color changing front um and yeah, I love the shades in here. The colours are beautiful. They always make a lovely, very pretty eye look. What I will say is I wish there was more than three mattes though because it's a mid-tone brown, a light beige and um, a black and that's it. Um, I wish there was more matte shades in here but it's nice and colourful. Um, I really like this as a palette and i definitely keep this. It's really good. The Graveyard Girl um, Swamp Queen uh, collaboration palette. This is really nice. It's sort of it's got the feel of wood on it. The shades in here are beautiful. It's a bit messy because I sanitized it recently. Uh, that's what all the streaks are. It's incredible. It's really really shiny. Like oh, that is so intense. It's unreal. So I really like that. This is going to get to the point where I can't use it anymore, but at the moment I can. So I'm going to keep this for a little bit longer. The Showstopper um, 
palette it's a travel palette again i've sanitized this one too um and it's got the blush the contour the highlight and then the eye shades the neutral eye shades i really like this palette so i'm keeping this another eye and face palette from them this is the rainforest after dark palette um it's beautiful look at it um i think i'm still going to use this a bit more i haven't really used it at all and i want to use it a bit more um it should still be okay for my eyes it should still be eye safe um again it's got the highlight the contour the blush um yeah i just need to give this more of a chance because i love the peach to the peach tones plum tones um and neutrals so it's just such a pretty palette as well oh gosh the slip fell out but it's such a pretty palette i really like it also have the uh, love trust and fairy dust this is actually one of my favorite palettes of all time i just love these shades they're just so beautiful in their tones um the blendability is incredible um pigmentation's brilliant there is a bit of fallout but i really like it this middle bit is a bit crumbly so be careful with that if you buy it um but i would advise it. it's a really beautiful palette i really like the quality of it and it's just so pretty as well i also have this one which is uh, be like a mermaid and make waves oh be a mermaid and make waves um it's just absolutely beautiful um again i've sanitized this recently i, I tend to do that i'm a bit of a germaphobe um these shades are beautiful this is sort of what i wanted the um life's a festival palette by Too faced to be like um i much prefer this palette um it's got some mattes um not a lot of mattes but enough and some absolutely beautiful shimmers on it um yeah i really like this palette so keeping that leave your mark palette i got this free when i bought the um foundation the shape tape foundation um although there's only like and that and the satin i really like one matte and one satin even i really like this palette it's the first time i realized wow tart shadows are so good and i really enjoyed it um yeah absolutely keeping this is a really nice palette so um, i have another two faced which was hide anyway this is a chocolate bar um if we look like really close at this pink um can you see it's like lumpy i don't know i just the shade just goes white on me it doesn't show up and then just dusts away i find i have a lot of trouble with this palette and i don't know if it's just their formula from too faced doesn't agree with my eyelids i don't know it might be me um but these this palette just doesn't look good on me um I do want to give it more of a go because it's pretty new to me. The Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. Now, this one works a lot better on me. Um, I was sort of hoping it would be a formula that worked better for me. I mean, still, some of the shades like this pink, when I put it on my eye, it just blends into nothing. Um, but the deeper shades, like this orange and um, this red... Uh, and the brown they work really well on me um so it's definitely worked better for me this palette it's so cute uh, i wish it smelled of gingerbread it doesn't um but it is a really nice palette and i'm definitely keeping that this is the sweet peach palette um by Too faced it smells gorgeous it looks gorgeous um i love the tones in it however this i don't know what it is about Too Faced eyeshadows but this muddies on my eye something terrible and it actually made my eyes really sensitive and watery so I mean it just smells so lovely and it looks lovely and I want it to work on me it just doesn't work on me though you know what I'm going to give it another go oh the Nabla palette so I have the Poison Garden um oh I can't open it there we go, have the Poison Garden palette, which is just, oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Um, have the Soul Blooming palette, which again is another beauty. And I have the Dreamy palette, which well, really is dreamy. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Yeah, 
I'm definitely keeping these palettes. What I wish for the palettes was, um, particularly the Soul Blooming and Dreamy, is you don't have a matte, deep, like, shade, like a blue or anything. So they have all these blue and purpley shades um, in the palettes, and yet they don't um, have a deep matte matching that. So it was really hard to deepen them up. But definitely keeping all of these. I only got them at Christmas. I have um, Blood Sugar, Thirsty, Androgyny, um, Beauty Killer, and I also have The Alien. Um, let's go into this first. This is one of my favourites by him. Um, and it's just... Ow! It's just so many beautiful shades. I mean, look at that. Oh, the pigmentation's great. I love the unique shades. Um, I love the colour combination. It's just so me. I really like this palette and the quality's bang on. This is huge though and I'm finding it really difficult to store. As you can see, like mine's, my eyes got all scratches on it now because um, it just ends up sort of falling over like off the side and stuff because I just have nowhere to store it. When you compare it to one of his original palettes, look. Androgyny. Um, mine came completely shattered this one um, but you know I repressed it and it's fine it still works look I do find it a little patchy though and I find these two um, look the same once they're on the eye but you know I really do like it I like this shade um, but it's just a neutral I really like this shade too yeah you know it's okay the beauty killer palette this is beautiful um, I had real trouble with this shade. Um, it's beautiful, but I had to really layer it on. But I do like it. It's a beautiful palette. It's really nice. I do... Oh, yes. I forgot I, how much I love Princess as well. But yeah, I need to use it more, really. The Thirsty palette. I really like this palette. It's really good. I have used it. It doesn't look used, though. One of my favourite palettes. I really like it. The shimmers are out of this world as well. I really like the shimmers. Blood Sugar palette. Doesn't really need much of a... It's explanation gosh i'm really struggling with my words today it's just beautiful i really like using this the looks always look lovely so pigmented never have any problem with blending or pigmentation this just it always goes right if it doesn't it's normally my skill level not the, not the eyeshadows but it's a really beautiful palette i have the urban decay born to run um i really like it I do find that some of the shades go a bit muddy on me though. I don't know what it is, whether my aging eyelids are just like finding it hard to have certain shadows on them now, I don't know. But um, it's sort of similar to the, the Too Faced where they just get a bit muddy on me. Um, but they are really pigmented and some of the shades are absolutely gorgeous, just some I need to work a little bit more with. Um, but it's a really beautiful palette and I do like it. One thing I would mention as well is this is plastic and this is actually on mine. I don't know whether it's just I got a duff one. It's really sharp and I actually cut myself on the first time I got it. Um, so be careful with that. <laughs> These are my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So we have the Sultry. It's one of my favourites. Um, we have the Norvina. Again, another one of my favourites. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Modern Renaissance. I like it, but, um, God, it doesn't actually look that used, but I've used it quite a lot. Um, I don't love it as much as everyone else does. I prefer the Sultry Norvina, to be fair, but it is still a beautiful palette. Um, and the Prism palette, I really enjoy this. And I think a lot of people are thrown off by this um, yellow shade. I think it's a really beautiful palette when you hide that. As soon as you really, like, sort of um, show the sphere shades people tend to be really put off it but it's an absolutely beautiful palette and i find that it works really well the blendability is lovely pigmentation is lovely and it got a bit of a bad rap really but i really like it this is my only actual huda palette and um i wasn't going to get it because it was so expensive but i did and i'm so glad i did um it's just incredible i absolutely love this palette it's one of my favorites i actually use the base as well I mean, the base is getting really quite mucky because there's nothing covering it and it's a cream with powders, which is a bad idea. But I really like the shades. I love the blendability. It's lovely. And they do feel a little bit dry and powdery, but they blend really well. I mean, the shimmers are so unique. Um, look at that. The shimmers are so unique and beautiful. 
um, and the matte shades, I'd say go, although they look quite pastel-y, I'd say they go on a lot more intense than they look in the pans. I just really love it. I just absolutely love this palette. Um, so definitely keeping that. Two more Juvia's Place. I have the Deuce palette. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, absolutely love this palette. It's one of my favourites by Juvia's Place. It's just so beautiful. It's got those pink tones I love. Um, these are just so easy to blend and work with. Um, yeah, definitely keeping that. The Nubian 2. Don't really use this. Haven't really used this at all. I think I'm going to give it a go though. I really love the colours. I mean, this is speaking to me. This is speaking to me. Um, the, you know what? All of the colours are speaking to me. I need to give this more of a go. So I'll keep this too. Okay, so my next ones are my Colourpop palettes. So I've got the Zodiac palette. Um, absolutely love this. Keeping this. It's fantastic. Um, the Pretty Much palette really cute i really love using this so it's just a bit inconvenient because it's so small but i really do like it um the make up your mind palette these are all shimmers so i just need to pair it up really with uh, maybe one of my uh, tartlet palettes and then i find it easier to use but it's a really beautiful palette i need to use it more and then i have the disney designer it's just a bit bland and boring um it's really it is really pretty though i do use it but I don't find their shades as pigmented. I don't find them as um, pretty. And I don't find them as blendable as normal Colourpop shadows. I'd say they were probably the worst quality shadows from Colourpop. The packaging's beautiful though. <laughs> I do like using it. I just, it's not my go-to because I just don't find the quality as good. Now, this is an absolute state. Look at the state of this. Um, this is all I see is magic. This was holiday 2017. Um, it's just gorgeous and the pigmentation and blendability is amazing. Definitely keeping this. I need to use it some more. Yes, please palette. Again, another messy one. I really like this. Um, I find that when I use it, my eye looks go super intense, but I do really like it. I tend to pair this up with when I use some of my uh, Jelly Much um, shadows. So yeah, really like that. It's sort of very similar to the Mar palette, no, Sol, even, sorry, got my Spanish mixed up, um, yeah, this is really pretty, I do really like this, I love this shimmer here, really nice, keeping that, also keeping the Mar palette, um, I just really like it, I just think this is such a lovely palette, uh, the colours and blendability is fantastic, this one is, um, it was a limited edition, Little Pony, um, colours are beautiful. I do find that some of the shades just blend into nothing though. I found some of the shades quite difficult to work with because they were powdery like this one. I find it's just super powdery. Can you see? And it just sort of blends into nothing. Um, but a lot of the other shades are really nice, really easy to work with. So it was a bit hit and miss in this palette, but I'll still keep it because there's still quite a lot of uh, shades in it that I like. This is an amazing palette. This is the Good Sport palette. Um, look at this. It's just so nice. Um, the colours are so unique. I absolutely adore this shade. It's beautiful. Rocky. Um, doesn't go on as iridescent as it looks in the pan, but it's beautiful. I absolutely love this palette. It's just so nice for fall or autumn. A surprise palette. This has got a few duff reviews from people really but I like it I really like this palette um I wouldn't say it was my favorite color pop one but it's really nice still a perception palette by Shayla um very similar to my own name worthy um here we go yeah absolutely love it I think it's a beautiful palette the pigmentation is fantastic it's amazing the color selection is amazing I really do like this very comparable to the MTK born to run um, on Instagram, I did some swatches where I took shades from this palette and the Born to Run palette and compared them. So head over to my Instagram if you wanted to see that. But yeah, no, really affordable option for something like that. Fortune palette, absolutely love this. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at it. Um, really warm toned, really pretty. Lots of uh, sort of plummy uh, burgundy shades, orange, gold. Oh, it's just neutrals as well it's just a really nice overall palette it's just so beautiful the packaging's amazing as well 
And then we have the Dream Street, which is just incredible. Um, absolutely love this palette. Need to use it more. Um, but I have used it a fair few times, and every time I use it, I just oh, I'm blown away by it. It's just so pretty. Um, yeah, love this palette. So I'm keeping all of my um, Colour Pop. Oh no, I've got two more Colour Pop palettes that I didn't know about. I missed these off. Um, so this is a She palette. I find it's okay. I mean, the quality is fantastic, but I just find all the looks I do with this look very similar. Um, and this is amazing. This is one of my favourite palettes as well. It's just so funky. Um, the colours are beautiful. The blendability is amazing. Um, pigmentation too. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Definitely keeping this. I've got more um, BH Cosmetics. So I've got the Supernova palette. Uh, I really like how many cool tones there are in this. I think it's so pretty. Again, I really like their um, formula of the um, uh, baked eyeshadows. Beautiful palette, keeping that. Um, Aurora Lights. Oh, some of the shades on this are beautiful. I find that I was really attracted to this one called Fluorescent doesn't go on nearly as bright on the eyes you have to really load it on um a few of the sort of top ones as well here i find are a bit more crumbly and you really need to sort of layer it but really beautiful palette really beautiful selection and the colors are lovely um i do find the shimmer like really nice um i think it's really good quality for the price of the palette so definitely keeping that up uh, BH Festival, Weekend Festival, just incredible. I love these shades. I love the quality. You would think it was a high-end palette when using it. It's just so good. Um, really affordable for what it is. Definitely keeping that. Now this one. Um, I don't really use this, but at the same time I want to. Like, I can use this for work more. I think it's just because it's such a big palette. It ends up sort of at the back of one of the drawers. Like sort of at the bottom with everything piled on top. I need to root this out more and use it because I think this would be a really nice palette for work. I think I should use it some more. I think there's just so many shimmers as well. And when I tend to wear a natural eye, I tend to do all matte. So I sort of wish it was more matte than shimmers. But as you can see, it's like shimmer central. Um, It's still a pretty palette. I'm going to make an, more of an effort to use this for work. I've got the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Now this one, it's great brights palette. Really like it. I do find some of the shades a bit dusty and do have to lay them a bit more. Um, but I think for the price, it's incredible. I mean, the pans are tiny, but there's a lot of shades in there. Yeah, I'll probably keep this. I think it's really nice um, to have as a, a Bright's palette. Now, the Galaxy Chic palette. This is beautiful. I mean, gosh, it's like a work of art, really, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the colours work really nicely. Um, I've used this one quite a lot. I really like that mint green. Um, yeah, beautiful palette. I'll definitely keep this. Now, the Shan XO, the Remix palette. Um, I do like the shades. I do use it, as you can see. Um, one thing is, I used this palette, um, this colour, one time, and it was so hard to work with. Um, I had to really layer it. I had to use setting spray, the works. Um... It was it it was quite an ordeal just to get it to show up the way I wanted it to, like it does in the pan. Um, but it is a pretty palette. I think I just need to give it more of a go. But the one time, that time I used it, it just really put me off. So I need to work with this palette a bit more before I decide whether I want to get rid of it. I have the Revolution Emily Edit. It looks like this. The mirror is huge. I really like this palette. Um, because I'm very light skinned, um, I like the fact that you have to build this up because say for the Anastasia um, palette, I have to really be very careful um, how I use that because it gets very intense very quickly. Whereas because this is um, something you build up, it works really well for me. I'm finding I'm getting some hard pan in some of the shadows. Um, and I haven't actually used it, put any water or anything in there. So I'm not sure what that's about. I think if you had dark skin, you'd have to really layer this. It might be a bit of a nuisance. But for me, I love this palette. I love the colour selection. And I like the way it looks on my eyes. I made some really beautiful looks with it. So um, yeah, I like this palette. I'm definitely keeping it. I have the Be Perfect Carnival palette. 
oh my gosh look at it it's so beautiful absolutely keeping this the quality is amazing um it's just so pretty it's really pretty yeah can't get rid of that i mean i love this shade i really have anything like it in my collection and this shade's beautiful just oh. but then you've got the neutrals as well it's such a useful palette to have i also have the okay so i have the dose of colors um ice cream palette as well this one i was expecting more from it really um I mean, I have to really sort of build up the colours. Um, they're quite chalky. Um, it's not actually too bad. That worked quite well. I, it's okay. It's just not as good as I expected. But it's very nice. And I do like pastels. It's quite unique shades in here. So I'll, I'll hold on to this for now. It's pretty as well, isn't it? I have the Lime Crime um, Pocket Candy. In, well, I don't know what it's called. It's just a pink one, I guess. It's meant to look like a Polly Pocket. It's beautiful. Um, it's really hard to work with. <laughs> These are not the best shades. Um, I sort of keep it more for the look of it and the packaging, which is really shallow. Um, some of the shades in here, a couple of the shades in here, are really good, but it's really quite hard to work with. This is definitely more of a sort of nostalgia Polly Pocket moment rather than going for the quality of the shadows. I have um, Coloured Rain, which, I mean, this one's just so beautiful. Um, I really can't complain with this palette. I think it's absolutely stunning. Uh, really beautiful palette. Um, the, the, sh the shimmers in Coloured Rain palettes and singles, honestly, you don't need a setting spray. You just need a dry brush and they whiz on. Well, they do for my eyes anyway, and that is so rare for me to be able to do that. Um, I think they're absolutely incredible. I think they're so underrated. Um, this is definitely one of the best palettes. Again, with the modern Ren it's sort of similar to the modern Renaissance, um, and that's not my favourite palette. And I don't find this is my favourite palette, although the quality is so amazing. And I think it may be just the colour story just doesn't talk to me as much. And then we have the Cheers to Beauty. This is such a huge palette, look. Um, if we compare the sizes, it's just so big, but it's so beautiful. The shimmers in here are absolutely out of this world crazy. Um, this is an absolute crazy shade. It's sort of like um, uh, iridescent sort of white, peachy, plummy, not plummy. I don't know why I keep mixing up my plums and my peaches. Sort of like, um, look at that. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. It's so pretty. These shades were amazing. I love this palette. Um, I find it really diverse. I think the colours, like being so different, can throw people off. But actually, because the neutrals and the transition shades um, are so universal, you can do so many different looks with this palette. Um, and the shimmers are just absolutely incredible. I mean, oh my gosh. Um, let's go for gold. Oh, I did it on my thumb. I don't know why. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, I can't get over it. It's just so beautiful. So these palettes are staying. Um, okay, we're on to the home straights, I think, with the palettes. So this is the Kat Von D and Too Faced um, Better Together palettes. Um, it's just two side, two palettes, basically, which sort of connect in the middle. Um, I like the Kat Von D side. Um, this white is amazing. The grey is amazing. I've come up with some beautiful looks using this palette. Although it looks a bit random, I just find that the shades are beautiful and the pigmentation and blendability is so nice. And then you get to the Too Faced side. Um, it's a bit of a hodgepodge of colours. Um, they don't work on my eyes that well. There's just sort of like, again, the light pink just blends into nothing. Um, it just, they don't work on my eyes. I don't know what it is about Too Faced um, eyeshadow is not working on me. I just can't get rid of one side. It's just, it's not, in, I can't, it's not in my ability to do that. Is that crazy? Yeah, it's probably crazy. I'm gonna have to keep them both though, but I'd only really use the Kat Von D side. Oh, oh no. No, I'm gonna have to keep them together. I have some Illamasqua here. Um, this is the compliment palette. Um, really pretty, but um, yeah, 
know, quite old. I'm going to have to get rid of this. It is beautiful, but it's old. It's not eye safe anymore. This is the Paranormal palette. <laughs> um, this is all cream shadows. They did not work for me. They went everywhere. They went up into my crease. They just separated. It was not a good situation. Um, so that's definitely going. Illamasqua palettes are just too old now anyway. Um, another cream one. Cream eyeshadows just do not work on me very well. Um, so yeah, this is really old and you can actually see it's like separating at the corners now. <laughs> gross. This is the last palette. It's the Chanel and um, it's very pretty. I used it a lot, but it won't be eye safe anymore. It's just so old. I might keep it as memorabilia, but I certainly can't use it on my eyes anymore. It actually came with like this little cute velvet sleeve as well. But yeah, no, I'm going to have to get rid of this. It's just so old now. And there we go. So these are all the palettes I got rid of. Oh, and then I have the maybes as well. So these are the ones either they're going out or they're going to memorabilia. So they're still going to be out of my collection. These I think I'm going to let go of as well. So yeah. I'll leave on the screen how many you got rid of and how many I kept. And uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully you'll tune in again soon. Bye.